Thank you for welcoming me onto your screens, onto your headphones, depending on how you're watching this. I'm Eddie, and this is The Rollback. Folks, we're going to talk to you today about One Piece, a.k.a. The Odyssey of One Monkey D. Luffy. Right, so, cards on the table. Uh, I never really watched the anime. I watched, like, a handful of episodes, but that was, like, the kids' WB dub version, the one with the good rap at the end. I mean, the good rap at the beginning. So... I have no loyalty to the source material in any capacity whatsoever. I don't care if it succeeds or fails. I went to this completely blind. All I know is that there's Luffy who can stretch. I know that there's a guy that kicks good, a guy that swords good, and a little guy by the name of Chomper. That's all I knew about this show going into it. So going in blind, it's actually really, really good. I, I, I think one of the biggest accomplishments that this show has is the fact that it's a good live-action anime adaptation. Uh, I call, I'm going to call it ramping. Realistic anime camp. Because that's what it was. The set pieces were practically made, not an abundance of CGI. Um, for some reason, people think that anime is impossible to realistically adapt, which, admittedly, I was one of those people. But the kid who plays Monkey D. Luffy makes me believe maybe just somewhere, somewhere out there, maybe there is a live-action Goku. Somewhere. But anyway, that said, this show, like to start with Luffy, he's so lovable. He's so positive and he has a good outlook on life. It's infectious. Genuinely, I, I said this in the podcast review, if you go check that out. I mentioned that this show feels like the new Ted Lasso in my life. You know, just a ray of positivity. Yes, not everything goes according to plan, but nonetheless, you can't help but enjoy the story that they're going on. Um, I like Luffy. Nami is fine. Like, like the role she plays, you know. The, we're not a team, but then I join your team at the end, whole thing. Zoro playing, I'm gonna go ahead and just call him like the Piccolo-ish character. Uh, you know, the whole silent but deadly, the dude that knows what he's doing, the best fighter. We have Usopp who, he's not really Krillin, but he's like, lovable? I, Usopp wasn't my favorite character, but I didn't mind him. It's just, I wasn't that invested in his story, in his aspect of the story at least. Sanji on the other hand though, that backstory is fucking tragic, and I loved it. I love the whole all blue thing, and the second that the that the uh, chef, other guy, gives him uh, the bag with half the food, I was like, no, that's all the food. BS. I love the oregano thing, you know. Mm, need some oregano. Oregano is for savages. I, things like that are fun, but they all committed to it. Like none of them. This could have easily been one of those movies where you can tell like they hate what they're doing, they feel like they're forced into this, but this project was made with passion. You can tell from the direction, from the writing, from every aspect, the show was great. Uh, it's only eight episodes, each one less than an hour. It is not that hard to binge watch this in a weekend. When you do, make sure you get some good food because you're in for a great ride. Uh, one Piece from Netflix, and I understand uh, they condensed, I think, the first 70 episodes of the show into eight episodes, which is a lot to do. No filler, all killer. It's good. I liked it. I liked every bit of it. Um, again, I have no commitment to the original One Piece, so I have no dog in the fight. But for, objectively, from a standpoint of someone who is about as pedestrian as you can get, solid. I'm going to give this one an A. Uh, I am looking forward to season two. I hope they bring it back for season two. But considering how much it dominated the global box office... Pretty sure it'll do fine. Um, but yeah, what did you think of One Piece? Go ahead and comment down below. We'd greatly appreciate it. And yeah, catch y'all later. See everybody.